guys, it's Jill Emerson here at Green Mountain Conservation Group and today on Experimentation Station we're going to make our own water biomes. So you need only a minimal amount of equipment for this experiment. You need some sort of clear plastic container or glass container that has a, a lid to it. You need a little bit of water and I like to do this with a little bit of food coloring but you also don't have to do this with food coloring. So what we're going to do pretty much is we're going to add our food coloring to the water. I like my water to be blue. We're going to cap it, give it a little bit of shaky shake. And then for those of you who are artistic, this is where you get to do a little bit of drawing. So this is going to be our ocean. I'm going to draw some waves. I'm not very artistic, so we're going to pretend that those are waves. And then up here, we're going to have clouds, happy little clouds. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this in a sunny location by a window perhaps, and we'll come back and look at it the next day. And through the power of movie magic, we've already set this up for you. So here we have our water biome experiment already in progress. So your bottle essentially here is acting like planet Earth. And what we see happening in here is we see water in two of its three different states. So uh, unfortunately in this experiment, we don't see in its solid state, which would be ice, but we do see in its liquid state, which would be our ponds and our oceans and rivers. When the water heats up, it evaporates and rises into the atmosphere and would form our clouds up here. Once the clouds become uh, very saturated, that water vapor will condense back into a liquid and fall to the earth as snow or rain which is actually what you can see happening here on the side of the bottle with all of this condensation. So this is a great tool to look at how the water cycle on Earth essentially works in your little bottle planet here. Um, minimal amount of equipment, great experiment to do, particularly on a sunny day. You can see how much evaporation is happening in your um, controlled environment versus on cloudy days, how much is happening. We hope you enjoyed this little short video. If you have any questions or comments or recommendations for Experimentation Station, feel free to write in at Green Mountain Conservation Group and we'll see if we can do your uh, experiment in a uh, future video. Thanks for tuning in.